Well, unfortunately, because of the time of day it is right now, um, I am going to look like an X-Men kind of villain character where half my face is shaded just because of the time of day it is and where the sun's coming. Because if I try to get really good light, oh, we got to look at a building, which is not as great as like, Oh, wait a minute, let's look, let's look at the water. So let's take half my face in the awesome water. I'll take that for 500, Alex. Um, hey, hey, so th th this week, uh, we're at Lent 2, obviously, and we are led by Nicodemus from the scripture this, this uh, Sunday. It's, it's uh, John 3. And so we get that great passage in John 3, 16, which gets held up at basketball games um, and football games, but also hopefully in our hearts. Uh, but we are reminded, uh, as we often are in Lent, of this renewing of our baptismal vows and renewing of what are we being cleansed from? What does our, what does our baptism cleanse us from? And Lent asks us, what, is, what has gotten in the way since then? What is the junk that gets just like stuck onto us? And how do we need to get back in the water at times and, and just release ourselves and cleanse ourselves from the, the insecurities, from the negative beliefs, from the sin, from, 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 from that which separates us from God? That's what Lent really is. Um, and Nicodemus leads us to say, well, what does this mean for us to be reborn in, in water and spirit? And as Christians who have been baptized, who, who feel like we have been reborn into a new life, um, and there's going to be many parts, uh, many people in our parish who are coming on Easter who will be reborn through a baptism of water and spirit on Easter Day. You know, my, my question to you is, what is your monthly, daily, maybe weekly ritual to help with that rebirth? to reignite that rebirth. Because as we know, the Christian walk is a daily walk. Uh, I talked to a person who, who, she comes to the waters once a month and she literally will sneak into the waters and, and take it as sort of like a, a baptismal like reminder of cleansing of all the stuff that happened this week, all the lists and the anxieties and the issues and the just the stuff that holds on to us that we want God to just wash away. So maybe you have that with water or maybe that's for you going on a run Maybe that's you journaling to God. What is your daily, weekly, monthly ritual that gets you back into that baptismal way of reigniting that rebirth, of reigniting that cleansing that we are given in through Christ? It's not just a one-time thing. This is something we got to work at every day, but we got to do it. Where are your waters, literally or figuratively? How do you do that every day? Um, how do you cleanse? How do you come into the presence of Christ? That's only between you and Jesus. All right. Come to church this week. Let's let's uh, keep on going our Lenten journey. God bless you.